Hey guys, how are you today? It's Mo from Programmer Tube. Today I want to show you how to print 1 to 100 in C++ without using loops, Godot, or recursion. So if you're interested, let's get started. Okay, before we jump into the code, I just want to make sure you have Visual Studio 2015 uh, installed on your machine. So make sure you go to this link here download the community free edition of Visual Studio so that we can get started. Okay, so now I have Visual Studio up and running on the screen. First thing I want to do is click on File Menu, New Project. And now I'm going to make sure that I have Visual C++ selected from here. And from this list here, I'm going to use 132 console application. I'm going to call this application Print Numbers. On the first wizard screen, I'm going to click Next. On the second one, I'm not going to change anything here. Everything should remain as is. Just click finish button. Okay, so the question is how to print numbers from 1 to 100 in C++ without using loops, Godot, or even recursion. It's clear that the question is asking about C++. What are some of the C++ features that we can use to do that? This is giving you a hint that think about C++ OOP features, right? Object-oriented features. So the first thing that should come to mind is how we can create objects and the constructor. For example, if we create a class here called number in C++, and the first thing you do normally is you have a constructor, right? Number. You know that when we create an object from this class, the constructor is going to be called. So we can potentially say print hello, for example, here. Now if I come to main and say number A, hit Ctrl F5 on the keyboard to compile and run. As you can see here, it's printing out hello for me because I created an object. Well, what if I create an array of 10 objects, for example, here, right? I just want A to be an array of 10 objects. Let's see that in action. Control F5 to run. Now, as you can see, it's printing out 10 hellos. So that should give you a hint how we can accomplish this. By having an array of 100 objects, then we can potentially print on the screen the numbers. So now the next question is, what is the number that I need to, let's say count? How do I pass count such that each object actually will be incrementing count? If you know about static members of classes, for example, if we have a static integer here called count, then we know that this is going to be shared across all the objects. Since it's a static, it belongs to the class. It doesn't belong to any object. So it's a global variable across all of them. It can be private, it can be public or protected, it doesn't matter in this case. We need to just here come here and say number count equals zero. You need to initialize the static member this way in C++. So now we have basically created a class called number as a static member count and every time an object is created it will increment the count first because we want to start from one not from zero and display that. And since we have a hundred objects array, we now try to run this, it should give us the desired output. Okay, as you can see now, it's printing all the way down to 100. So let me scroll up from one to 100. So yeah, that's how we can quickly print out the numbers without using any loops, Goto, or even recursion. We haven't used any of these. There are other various solutions to this problem, but I think this is the one that shows that you understand C++ and how it works. So I hope you find this video useful. So please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.